snuff out the rogue pair that betrayed our organization. What? Two former Turks, Rude and Elena, have kidnapped the presidents whom they were tasked to protect. Traitors are to be afforded no mercy. Their lives are forfeit. Naturally, the two of them know Turk's policy and will fight to the death. Kill or be killed. These are the only possible outcomes of any confrontation. Here's hoping you survive. But aren't they friends? How can they go from BFFs to shoot to kill just like that? Probably gotta be pretty ruthless to make it as a Turk.
We'll make it quick. Yourselves to be born Turks. Wow, what an honor. We Turks fight as one, but our duty may require us to sever our binding ties. Which is precisely why. Huh? Who's there? Confirming personnel data. ID GAI 153. Affiliation General Affairs Auditing. <laughs> Certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Took the words right out of my mouth. What in the hell are you doing here? Shinra sent me to inspect the facilities. Wanted to make sure they didn't have any unauthorized visitors wandering around. GAI-153? Records indicate the individual with that ID underwent formal training. Wait. Are you a Turk? That'll be enough probing. For my benefit, but mainly for yours. It was enough of a pain to cover up the mess you made at the reactor. Try not to cause any more trouble, okay? Sorry. Won't happen again. Anyway, I'm heading back to the village. Once you're done here, I suggest you make tracks. There's definitely more to her than meets the eye. Hello? You good? Hey, Chadley. What happened to the proto-relic? 
Oh, forgive me. And there. Incredible. It appears that by restoring the fragmented data, we were able to break the Proto Relics encryption. Uh, translation? The potential applications are practically limitless. By converting matter into data distributed across a secure network, shielded from external interference, one could preserve said data indefinitely. So is it real? Like, can I touch it? Oh, of course. Behold, the Proto Relic in its restored glory. returns. Beneath the moonlight, in victory shall I revel, my Genji! Did it do? 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 Chadley? <laughs> None other. After analyzing the phenomena associated with your sudden disappearance, I was able to devise a way in which to join you virtually. Virtually. Ah, no matter. Be gone, foul conjurer, or I shall make this place your grave. Oh my! This is simply fascinating! <laughs> I'm Chadley. You must tell me about yourself, and about this place. You dare demand answers of me? Such impudence! I want to display of disrespect! Lots of ah, wealth! Die! Why? What did I say? This will not stand! Chadley, you okay? I believe so, yes. Tell me, I didn't dream that shit. Correct. That was no dream, Cloud. You and I were there, together. Wherever there was, that is. I presume it was another dimension. Nothing's ever simple. <laughs> I sense exasperation. I, however, am emboldened to solve this mystery. I only hope that you will assist me in my quest for answers. Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Seriously? Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Like, with a fire? 
Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow. What do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. This is taking too long. But I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane! Follow the smoke! Come to, Come me. to me, airplane! airplane. Follow, Follow the smoke! The smoke. <laughs> well, I'll be dead. Hold tight to speed things up. <laughs> Over here! Seen crazier shit on my travels. Now, how many of you have you got? Uh, too many. <sighs> but the old girl likes a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> With hazard pay, I'd say this is fair. And since I don't have much else going on, I'll be here scratching my ass to your pony up. Much obliged. Hop on board and sit where I tell you. Got to make sure my baby's balanced just so. <laughs> Hold on tight now, you hear? Fall out, you're on your own. <laughs> you are truly a model soldier, my boy. I'd hold still if I were you. We wouldn't want any complications. No, Professor. <laughs> Since you're so committed, I'm going to give you a special treatment. One that will surely make you into a hero. Once, this would have taken years. But now, now it takes a mere 18 hours. All thanks to me and my singular genius. I stand at the forefront of science, my brilliance a guiding light. Of course, we pioneers must be ready to do what others are not. Though even I wouldn't dare attempt to improve upon perfection. <laughs>
the skies? Shitheads couldn't stop me even if they tried. <laughs> I think you and me are gonna get along just fine. We're getting pretty close now. Yep, bringing her down. as far as I could. Hope y'all don't mind walking, cause now you're on your own. What about the next time we need a lift? Hmm. Send up a signal. Just make sure I got room to land. Happy trails to ya. The veil's this way.
Shani? That you? Who's Shani? One of your chocobos? Did they run away from home? <laughs> My apologies. I don't believe we've met. I'm Kamaria, the owner. <laughs> so, Shani's your bird? Goodness, no. Shani's my daughter. She's a chocobo jockey, or was, till she fell off her mount during the race. <sighs> Since then, she's completely lost her nerve. Refuses to get back in the saddle. I see. Oh! Tell me, you kids any good at riding? Yeah, we dabble. Wonderful! In that case, how would you like to use my training course? I had everything built brand new just for Shawnee. But now it's going to waste. Someone ought to put it to good use, don't you think? And who better than you young go-getters? I don't know. Ever run a ring course? It's simple. You strap yourselves in and fly through a series of hoops. I reckon you won't find a course like mine anywhere else. Whoa! That sounds amazing! <laughs> you want to try it, right? Imagine how jealous everyone will be. Sure. But first, you'll need to catch yourself a chocobo. One that isn't afraid of heights. A fine bird like Apony ought to do you, though. Go ahead and ride her over to the training course. Twisting paths and bewildering brushlands, she'll guide you through it all with ease.
company.
Good bird. Easy girl, we got you. on Chocobac. Amazing, isn't it? It's like my Chocobo and I share one mind, one body, one soul. Uh-huh. Or maybe my body just hates shimmer cars, trains, and boats. They ought to find a way to make the ride smoother for their stuff. Put R&D to work. I think they got other priorities. That's true. Find what it is you're looking for. Go. Aha! Let me guess. You're Johnny? You were talking with your mom earlier. She said you weren't using the training facility she built. Figured if you're not up for it, then we could give Abony her exercise. Whisperer Yuffie gets first dibs!
This is great! 